Hey Tonglers, here are five top EF lenses for a versatile shooting kit. The first lens is a 24 to 105 mm f4. This standard zoom is a great all-purpose workhorse lens that allows you to quickly change from wide to telephoto with a twist of the zoom ring. This versatility is perfect for unpredictable shooting situations, especially when speed is of the essence. If you can only bring one lens, this is it. The second lens is a 70 to 200 mm f2.8. This telephoto lens is perfect for portraiture and sport photography. It creates separation between your subject and background through shallow depth of field. In addition, its fast f2.8 aperture allows you to shoot at lower levels of light using a faster shutter speed. The third lens is a 15 to 30 millimeter f2.8. With its greater depth of field, this wide-angle lens is ideal for landscape and architectural photography. It allows you to capture as much as possible without having to distance yourself from your subject. For example, check out this photo taken on this wide-angle lens. The dancer is on the bridge. However, the entirety of the bridge is able to be captured in the background, making for a dramatic shot. The fourth lens is a 100mm f2.8. This macro lens is the tool of choice for small product and nature photography. It magnifies your point of view, allowing you to get up close and personal with small subjects. This lens can also be used for portrait photography due to its fast aperture. The fifth lens is a 24 mm f14. This very specialized but fascinating probe lens is a wide angle macro lens that allows you to take your product photography to the next level. It magnifies subjects at a two to one ratio compared to the typical one to one ratio. And unlike other macro lenses, which blur out the background, its 24 millimeter focal range allows the background to be visible. Thanks for watching, Tonglers. Remember to like and subscribe for more exclusive Tongle content. And if you're a creator, be sure to visit the Tongle website at tongle.com for some exciting opportunities.